Welcome to Rocksaw Productions, where in this video we are going to check out the shock and rock for the Nintendo Switch Lite from Nico. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, Gary here with Rocksaw Productions. Now before we get started, I'm going to tell you right now, you're going to hear me mispronounce Nico Nico. I'm going to go back and forth getting that out of the way, because Nico RC car is something I've been familiar with for years and years and years. But before we get started, even after all that stuff, I just want to take a second and say thank you for stopping by and checking out what we have going on here today. I really do appreciate it. If you like what you see here, I invite you to check out some of the other videos that we have on the channel, including an entire accessories playlist for the Nintendo Switch and the Switch Lite. And if you really like what you see here, do me a huge favor. Hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that bell notification. That way each and every time we upload new content, you are kept the most up to date. And what I wanna know from you here today, what game, don't care what platform, don't care what generation of systems, what game has the best soundtrack in your mind? There's so many great soundtracks out there. One of them I think is really underrated and one of the reasons why I kind of warped sense here, want a, uh, an Atari Jaguar, Tempest 2000 has an amazing soundtrack. Earthworm Jim, another one. Tommy Tallarico did a great job on Earthworm Jim. Let me know down in the comments, what game has your favorite soundtrack? Now, ever since Ginger got her Switch Lite here, and I've stolen it from her a couple times to play, one of the things that I've noticed is the fact there is no vibration or haptic feedback. It's something that I really miss out on, especially playing games like Mario Odyssey, where there are some levels where you need that feedback, that rumble, to let you know if you are near a a prize or something like that buried under the ground. Well, Nyko here has what they are calling the Shock and Rock. It is a force feedback console attachment that adds rumble to the Nintendo Switch Lite. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it, we're gonna throw it on the bench, we're gonna see how it comes out of the box, we're gonna see how the Switch Lite fits in it. We've also got some other goodies that came in the box with this, and we're just gonna see how does it play. Let's get started. So here we have the Shock and Rock right on the bench. Now, I did have to order this directly from Nyko. This was not available through any retailer. Uh, at the time of this filming, this had just recently been announced too, so I don't know if this will be available through like a GameStop or a Walmart or even Amazon, but at this time, I had to order directly from Nyko. Now, I did get two bonus goodies in the, the package with this. I got a... Nyko Nico key ring uh, and bottle opener. And for someone who doesn't drink, that's awesome. Um, but uh, perhaps one of the more useful things is this console stand here, which you can also use for a cell phone if you would like. So we have our Switch Lite right there. I can see actually me using this for um, doing photos and whatnot. It's actually really handy and it's got a little bit of, bit of a grip on the bottom so it's not going to slide around. Pretty awesome here. I'm going to try to adjust this so we don't get a bunch of glare off the uh, studio lights here. So let's take a look at the box. So here you can see right in the front, add rumble, and then it has a French version, shock and rock force feedback console attachment for the Switch Lite. This will not work on the Switch because, well, the switch has it built in. Looking on the back here, you can see force feedback, easily add rumble to the switch light. Audio output, built-in speaker with adjustable volume control right there. Um, and it has their little graphics and everything showed on there. Headphone pass-through, headphone compatible, rechargeable battery, so this does require power. Now, if you notice on the bottom of this box, it's kind of crunched up. There was no padding or anything. It was basically just an AUPS or a USPS envelope. Includes one shock and rock and one USB uh, type C cable. And if you ever have any issues, that's their support number. Nothing on that side of the box. On the other side of the box, you have where it's calling out the force feedback vibration, built-in speaker, and headphone pass-through. Now there are two little pieces of tape right there and right there, kind of keeping everything sealed up. We're gonna cut through those real quick with our hobby knife. Now, like I mentioned, I did order this right through their website. It uh, cost about 25 bucks, so not terrible, but not cheap either. And for that money, I kind of wish that the box would not have gotten crunched up here, so. Uh, but here's the grip itself. We will 
remove it from the plastic. And then here we have the accessory cable. It is USB-A to USB-C. Looks to be about three or four feet long. I'll probably call it rock and shock more than a few times. And let's take a look at the user's manual. So here, if you don't want to read, you've got the picture guide that shows you how to put the system into the grip, plugging in the headphone jack, where your audio button is, the volume level, figure five, figure six. So what's in the box, the shock and rocket charge cable on your user manual, easily add rumble to the switch light, compatible with most switch titles, uh, built-in speaker with adjustable volume control, pass through headphone jack, preserves audio functionality, powered by an internal rechargeable battery. To adjust the intensity of the rumble, adjust the audio buttons on the switch light console. To adjust the speaker volume, move the volume wheel on the shock and rock attachment. So volume is now not exactly volume on the system. We'll see how this works in a second. When not in use, power off the shock and rock. Uh, the blue LED may begin to blink when the battery is getting low and in need of a recharge. To remove it, just slide it up. So let's get this guy set up. So what's nice is there is a guide here and here to basically guide you into place. It did get a little bit of a click. I'll plug in our headphone jack on the top. And there is an unlock button there, I guess, to slide it back out. Yep, that's exactly what that does. And there's the click again. So you have your volume adjustment there, power on and off, and then your USB type C port there. So now, power on our switch light. We're going to bring in a little bit closer. And now we're going to turn our volume all the way up. There it is. And turn this guy on here. There's the blue light. And adjust the volume here. Damn, that's loud! Uh, we're going to turn this guy down because, uh, wow, we don't need to be blasting our, uh, our speakers quite so loud there. Um, the grips, I'll say, really comfortable. Uh, they've done a good job at, at kind of making this an okay device to hold. Super Mario! Wow! That's powerful. That's, holy cow. Um, so, wow, that's really, really powerful. You know what I don't like, I'll tell you right now, is with every beat of the music, the vibration is going. So there I just turn the volume down, which also affects the vibration. Um, the vibration is definitely noticeable. I mean, there's, there's no doubt about it, or no bow to doubt it. That's killer. I am liking this. Now, I will say the audio is definitely tinny, but man, that that adds a lot of what's been missing, at least in my opinion, to the Switch Lite since I first got it. Amazingly comfortable. I, I will say that this is really a comfortable grip. They did a good job. They did a very good job with the ergonomics. I'm going to turn the volume down like all the way and just see do I still get the vibration? Sure do. Now what about if I turn the vibration down on the headphones? Okay, so there's no vibration at that point on the head or on the uh, grip. So I think I read somewhere where you need to have it on like an intensity of seven uh, at least to kind of feel anything. Oh, this is great. This is really, really, I like this a lot. Oh man, I am really, I didn't think I was gonna like it as much as I do. Um, and we're gonna turn I'm gonna go back to the main menu. Let me try another, let me see what happens in an NES game, quite honestly. Um, and this is more just my kind of morbid curiosity to see if if it would show up or, uh, or if I could feel it at all. Let's go to Blaster Master. Yes, I'm getting vibration out of this. And it's basically, it's the music that's making it do it. That is neat. Okay, let's go home. I gotta go into Relic Hunters Remix Zero because I think this is just, A, it's a great title, 
and I think that this will be fun to play on the Switch Lite with this. So this does have kind of a texture on the back of the grips, which, and it goes across the entire back of it. So I like that feeling overall. I like the shape here too, that it doesn't come all the way up on the back of the Switch Lite. It's just, it's really comfortable. And yeah, I'm, I'm totally feeling the uh, vibration alert, no issues here. Uh, another game where the music is just really, really good on it. I'm sure you can hear the motors kind of spinning every once in a while here too. This is too cool. So it's kind of neat too that it even kind of gives you that rumble feature when you go back to the main menu. That is too cool. Um, I didn't think I was going to like this as much as I do, but it's extremely comfortable. It's lightweight. Uh, it does exactly what it's supposed to do. Um, the speakers leave a little bit to, to be desired. It's only one speaker. Um, yeah, it's only a single mono speaker. I would have preferred that they would have had a speaker here and here um, because you are losing the stereo output from the speakers on the system itself. Uh, but for $25, this, I mean, just for a, a grip, this is really, really good. Uh, let's wrap things up. So there you have it, our look at the Shock and Rock or Rock and Shock or Rock and Roller. Wait, no, no, the Rock and Roller was something for the NES and something terrible, which this is not. This actually is quite good. Just as a grip itself, it is super comfortable. I, I'm actually, like I mentioned when I was playing just a few moments ago, I am surprised how much I like the overall fit and feel of this in the hand separate from everything else. So let's talk about why it rocks. The fit and feel, the ergonomics, I think they really did a good job with it. It's easy to install and more importantly, it's easy to remove. Um, it does come with its own separate power cable, which is nice. I kinda wish that you could use this as a backup battery for the Switch Lite. That would be nice. Um, I do also, but we're talking about why it rocks. You know, having a, um, you know, that's another thing I will get into in a second about what, what could be improved. The separate headphone jack is nice. Having the volume control on it is good as well. Just overall, pretty, pretty nice. What could be improved? Well, first and foremost, I'd like to see more colors. I have a turquoise switch light. I'd like a turquoise grip. I'd like to see him make that happen. Uh, I would like to see that pass through for the power to use this as a battery bank as it were. The fact that it only has one speaker leaves it sounding a little bit on the hollow side. Uh, definitely does not have the same depth of audio quality as the Switch Lite does box stock. And at only a thousand milliamps, one amp basically of capacity on the battery, I'm a little bit concerned with how long this will last per charge. Uh, I'm hoping it lasts, you know, it should last really the full charge of your Switch Lite. You are charging both at the same time. Uh, that would definitely be a bonus for this. But overall, um, really, really nice. Oh, another thing that could be improved, distribution. Get this in the stores. I don't like the fact that I had to order it directly from Nyko. I wish that I could have gone and purchased it, purchased it through my Walmart, my GameStop, my, my local retro video game stores that carry Nyko products. I would have liked to have been able to get this locally versus mail order. But the fact that they did include the, the couple extra bonus items was a nice touch. But now these are just my opinions on this. What do you think? Let me know down below in the comment section. Is this something you would pick up for the Switch Lite? Is this something that you would like to see them come out? Maybe with a, a pro version with twin stereo speakers. Aha. Extra color options. Aha. 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 Um, let me know what you think though down in the comments section. Additionally, if you do have any other comments or questions, as always, you can email me at rocksolidmail at gmail.com. You can hit me up on Twitter at rocksolidstudios. We are on Facebook at facebook.com slash rocksolidproductions and Instagram at instagram.com slash rocksolidproductionsgk. Now, if you want to help support the channel so that we can do things like pick up a shock and rock to test out and see how it works. If you want to be able to get early access 
access to our videos and exclusive content as well. You can join us over on our Patreon page at patreon.com slash rocksolid. For as little as a dollar a month, $12 a year, you will get early access to all of our video content, exclusive content, and more. You can also go ahead and become a channel member now for as little as $1.99 a month with all the same benefits, plus you get unique badges to display when you do uh, appear in a live chat with us, if you leave a comment on one of our videos, and the longer you are a channel member, that icon changes as, you, as time goes on too. And then you can also pick up some Rock Solid Production swag over on our Teespring store on screen right now where we have t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, and more all featuring the Rock Solid Productions logo. Now, if you are looking for any other accessories for your Switch Lite, your Switch, your NES, your Super NES, your Sega Genesis, any modern or retro console, do me a favor. Head on over to castlemaniagames.com. The cool thing over there is he has a feature called Castle Cash, where the more you spend, the more you earn towards future purchases. It's his rewards program. And if you use promo code ROCKSOLID10, you can save 10% off of most items on the website. And finally, like I mentioned at the top of this video, first of all, let me know what your favorite video game soundtrack of all time is. Second of all, if you like what you see here, if you want to stay more, if you want to be kept the most up to date, do me a huge favor. Hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that bell notification. That way you are kept up to date with everything that we have going on here today. Um, I have to say, I did not anticipate liking this as much as I do. Um, Ginger may not be getting this back for a while. I am Gary, this has been Rock Solid Productions, and our look at the Nyko, Nico, however you pronounce it, the Shock and Rock vibration add-on for the Nintendo Switch Lite. I thank you for watching, and I hope to see you soon.